Hi, this is Rick and thanks for joining. Today's tutorial is going to be um, very quick and brief. Uh, I wanted to share with you a tip on how to remove um, your personal macro workbook file or your personal .xlsb file. And how you do that um, is you go into your uh, Windows Explorer and I'm going to launch that now. And I am going to um, change the settings under Organize. I'm going to go to Folder and Search Options. Then I'm going to go to View and I'm going to click Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives. And the reason why I'm doing that is that personal.xlsb file is a hidden file. And also there's a path, some of the directories you won't be able to see without doing that. So I'm going to click Apply or OK. And then I'm going to go to C colon, Users. Then I'm going to go to the username on the computer. Then I'm going to go to App Data. Then I'm going to go to Roaming. Then I'm going to go to Microsoft Excel. And then I'm going to go into the Excel Start Directory. And there's my personal file. I'm going to go ahead and click. Um, I'm going to go ahead and right click it and just click Delete. Now you can copy it somewhere else, remove it. Um, but I'm just going to remove it. And then, nope, oh, let me get out of Excel. and see it says it's, I can't delete it because it's in use so I'm going to do try again and there it's gone. Now with that said um, one of the things uh, this is Windows 7 so you could see things differently on different computers um, different operating systems and even different um, installs of Excel whether it's Office or individual copy you may put things in different spots um, but the key is you want to go into the Excel Excel start directory and then if you look at um, Windows XP, I believe the path is going to be C, C colon, uh, Documents and Settings, Application Data, Microsoft, Excel, Excel Start, and then the um, personal.xlsb file. Uh, I'll post that in a um, pop-up note in the tutorial, and I hope this helps. Thanks. Take care.